Hey, it's Marcel, CEO of Career Valley and Serving Talent. I'm gonna to talk to you about what the Foreign Service is and who a spouse is. So we have a lot of confusion around this that we get, which is, oh, US military and foreign service spouses. You're placing spouses of foreign militaries. No, there's something in the United States called the US Foreign Service, and that's the diplomatic corps of the United States. So these are people who serve at almost 300 locations around the world at embassies and consulates and do foreign policy work for the US government. That includes State Department, Commerce, and other agencies, primarily State Department, where my husband works, but he is not an ambassador. We pay private insurance and our housing when we live in the United States and are posted here, which is very different than the military, but how we are similar is we move on average every three years. So I wanna to talk to you about what that has meant and why I got to here because that will explain for you what a foreign service spouse is. My career was disrupted in 2011 when we joined the foreign service. There was no way I could continue my 10 years in communications overseas because the limited options available in the local economy, sometimes you can't even work due to different agreements um, locally or at the embassy, there's very limited options. So. I knew I could be an entrepreneur and I decided to start Career Valet in 2012 and I'd been helping people for years with career advice and resumes. So it made sense for me, but it's not for everybody, right? And then in 2015, after I had been meeting so many fantastic spouses thinking, why do these people not have a job? This makes no sense to me and had faced similar challenges. I started serving talent with Maggie Verona, a US Navy spouse. And our goal is really to change this story for others, right? To not have to meet more and more people saying this exact same thing as I can't find work, I can't find a job, nobody will hire me because we move, because I have gaps in my work history, because they don't understand my background. So as spouses, we have this one limitation, right? Of moving around almost every three years. But we excel at working remotely. We have traveled long distances a lot. We have communicated across cultures. So we haven't just traveled, we've actually lived and thrived in dangerous and difficult places around the world, bringing our children with us. This is something that was also a bit different than the military posts overseas. So I wanna ask you this. Do your employees look or sound like you? Do they come from the same backgrounds? Or do they have a unique perspective and ideas and worldview that they can bring to the table to help you know, bring innovative ideas and new things to your company and your teams? The work is changing, employees are changing, and their demands are changing as well. The successful employee of the future is not stagnant. She's innovative, she is flexible, she is thoughtful, she is right here. If you wanna train your staff to hire these exceptional individuals or build a program to do so, contact us at employers at servingtalent.com.